so here we are. Um, cable management's a little bit bad on this side because I um, didn't want to bother neatening that up with cable ties and such until I got this sorted. But as you can see at both ends, I'll try and focus it a bit. RAM is seated correctly. I've actually backed off the tension of this cooler a little bit just to make sure there's no flex in the board. Um, so we get over here, that's the code there, so I'll just um, switch it on. Press the power button. As you can see, everything's on. Don't know if you can see that. Can code 55. Turns off for a sec. Turns back on. Code 55 again. It cycles through that about every 10 seconds. I've tried using clear signals, so I'll do that now on the back of the motherboard. As you can see, the lights go off as is normal. Turn back on, gives me the same issue. So if I am to turn that all off, um, and just take these RAM out, just give me a sec. I've already checked the um, CPU socket for bent pins as well, just in case any were bent in transit. I uh, didn't get any of that. Didn't, didn't find any, sorry. Um, also, checked all the RAM slots to make sure they were all clean. I checked my RAM to make sure there was no residue from anything on them. Um, pretty much can't see what should be causing this issue but all right, now putting one stick in slot A1 and you can see it there seated fine no slots in A2, B1 or B2. Switch it back on. Not sure if you can see that. Code 55 again. So I'll switch it off. I'll move it to slot 2. Or A2, sorry. it is. And just these cables again. Seated fine again. No problems. Switch it back on. Code 55 again. Keep going. Move the slot over to B1. Or the RAM over to B1, sorry. So now that's in B1. Switch it on. code there, which just means I haven't got a keyboard and mouse plugged in because I'm currently using it for the laptop. Um, so yeah, as soon as I plug it into that, gives me this, starts up.